How's it going everybody? My name is Swingpoint and today we are going to go over how to record your Windows 8 or Windows 7 desktop for free and legally too because I don't get into any of that nasty key generator stuff. So first thing you do is you bring up your internet browser and you Google open broadcaster software. That's the software we're going to be using. It is also often referred to as OBS if you search for it anywhere else. After you get the Google search up, you click download. It's going to be the first link on obsproject.com. You click download. And now here you got to be careful not to just click download because I feel that many people that are going to be watching this tutorial have 64-bit systems. So instead of just clicking download, you have to go to binaries because if you just click download, that'll default you to the 32-bit version. So you click binaries. And then it goes to sourceforge.com and it'll give you about five seconds to wait for your download then your download will start as you can see I already have it downloaded a couple times because I downloaded it myself once and then tested out to make sure when I was doing this tutorial that I did it all right <clears throat> you click that it's a zip file so you have to extract everything so you right click extract all Now I'm not going to go through the entire process because if I do that I will probably upset my OBS because I'm using it to record right now so I'm going to assume that you already know how to go through extracting a file after you extract your file, you bring up the results right here like this. It'll come up like this, same folder. You click 64-bit, and then you have all these options here. You click OBS. As a rule of thumb, you always try to find the application when you extract things, and then you're just trying to find which one actually works to start the program. So after you click that, you click OBS, app the application, and then this little guy is going to come up. As you can see, there's already a screen going on right now because I'm recording right now. What you do to get going after you bring up OBS, because when you first open it, it can be kind of confusing, is you will go to Add Scene on the left-hand side. You right-click, click Add Scene, enter a name, I don't know, Tutorial. Now my screen may have gone blank for a second because it switched over to the other scene, but what you do to go back is I'm going to go back to where I was with the monitor to capture. Now, now you're going to be doing this in your new scene. You'll click on the right hand box and you'll click add and then you'll click monitor capture. And it'll say please enter a name. I'm going to put monitor capture too. And once you do that, it's going to go through a list of options that you can edit if you like. You don't really need to. I just click set base resolution and it'll take the resolution of your monitor so you don't even have to do any editing. You click OK. And then you should be good to go in terms of capturing your monitor. My screen's going to go blank again. But what I did, when I, when I bring my screen back, I'm clicking Monitor Capture 2. Now within OBS, you don't have to just record your desktop screen. You can record games. You can put a face cam on your recording as you're going. Personally, I prefer to record the webcam separately because I can edit it easier in Sony Vegas afterward. You can also live stream with the software, which is what it was meant for to begin with but I'm showing you just how to locally record. Now to actually get the file on your computer, before you're recording, you click settings, you go to broadcast settings. Now, as you can see, there's a few options here. You want your mode to be clicked to file output only. It defaults at live stream. It'll give you all this Twitch TV information, all these things that you can enter. Make sure you go to file output only. And that'll ask you for a file path. So you find a place where you want to save it and you give it a name. So let's see here, browse, uh, OBS test, save, and then it's going to ask you to type in a name, tutorial video. Now, if I were to click save, every video I create from here on out, it would be tutorial video, that tutorial video one, tutorial video two, tutorial video three. You can change, you can change that before you record each time, or you can change it afterwards. Personally, I recorded after, I change it afterwards, or I just don't change it at all, and I actually remember what I recorded. <clears throat> After you do all that, you click apply, and then you should be good to go in terms of recording. You There's going to be a little option here that says start streaming. You'll have to click that to start streaming. Right now I have it going, so I can't really turn it off, otherwise I'm going to cut out because you can't record Windows 8 with Fraps anymore. For whatever reason, they just haven't created a Fraps version that is compatible with Windows 8. So until then, I'm stuck using OBS, and it's actually a pretty nice software. It's pretty easy on your system. And it doesn't use a whole lot of RAM like uh, Fraps does. So, I believe that's all you need to know. 
If you guys have any questions or you'd like me to go into more detail, please feel free to leave a comment. I can make more videos if you like, if you would like to request those. But if this video has helped you at all, please help me back a little bit and leave a like on the video. Maybe subscribe for more videos that I could be posting. And maybe share it with your friends that are trying to get going on the recording thing. I know doing Let's Plays is a pretty popular thing nowadays, so... If you have any friends that are trying to find a way to record their screen, record their games, and they don't want to pay 40 bucks for Fraps or Bandicam or something like that, this is a great option you can show them this video. So, thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful, and have a great day. Goodbye! Hey there YouTube, it's Swingpoint, and I'd just like to thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate your time. And just a reminder, if you did like the video, to subscribe at the bottom of the video. Anyways, that's all I got. Have a good day and see you next time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>